Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Saturday and that means it's time for another episode of What's New for Blue. We have a lot of brand new releases coming out on Tuesday, starting off with Bad Boys Ride or Die. Bad Boys Ride or Die is getting a regular 4K, I'm assuming with a slipcover, a Blu-ray which matches the cover artwork of the 4K, and also a 4K steelbook. Now when it comes to this movie, I did go ahead and pre-order the 4K steelbook because the price point went down to about $28, and I did receive my email notification that Amazon shipped that, so hopefully it will be here by Tuesday, and I am looking forward to watching this movie again with my family because in the theater I had a great time. All right, moving on next to Long Legs. Long Legs is getting a 4K and also a Blu-ray release. The cover artwork is exactly the same, so I'm only showing you one. And also we are getting The Exorcism starring Russell Crowe on Blu-ray. Now when it comes to Long Legs, you already know, you already know I need this because Nicolas Cage is in this movie. So obviously I need this for my Nick Cage collection. And I think I'm going to go ahead and just pick up the regular Blu-ray for some reason. I don't know. I just don't feel the need to get the 4K for long legs, but I definitely do need that Blu-ray. So that is something that I will be searching for on Tuesday when I do go out Blu-ray hunting. Now, as far as the exorcism with Russell Crowe, I don't think I'm going to go for this one only because it seems like a one-time watch. I saw the trailer for this movie one time and... I don't know, it just didn't really grab me, not really interested, so I think I'm going to just completely bypass on picking up the physical. If it does land on a streaming service somewhere, I'm not opposed to watching it on streaming sometime, but I'm not going to pick it up for my collection, so I'm bypassing. Next up is Despicable Me 4. Despicable Me 4 is getting a 4K and a Blu-ray, as well as a four-movie collection pack on blu-ray now the four movie collection pack you may want to seriously consider pick this picking this one up because the last time that i checked over on amazon the price point for the four film collection was under fifty dollars and that's a pretty decent deal for four movies on blu-ray so like i said if you don't own any of them that is definitely the way to go but personally for myself i'm going to bypass on despicable me 4 as well I haven't seen any of the movies, so I don't need to have it. I don't need to have it. It's, it wouldn't be a go-to for me, so I'm good. This is going to land over on Peacock, so if I am ever interested in it, I can always stream it over there. Moving on next, we have Village of the Dam 4K from Scream Factory and also the Stand Blu-ray Steelbook. Now, this is a Walmart exclusive. Now, when it comes to Village of the Damned, I was really thinking about this one, but I decided not to pre-order it because I heard a lot of mixed reviews about the movie, that it's kind of slow and a little boring. And I said to myself, do I really want to pay $30 for slow and boring? Not really. So if I ever do change my mind and I do want to pick this one up, there's always a future sale that I can pick it up during, you know, during that sale. So... I don't need to pay full price for this one. And the Stan Blu-ray, I don't really know. I don't know if I want this one. I've heard of it. I've never seen it, so I'm not familiar with it. It's not like I absolutely need to have it, but I don't know. It depends on the price point. Is it going to be in store when I go to Walmart on Tuesday? I'm not really sure if it's going to be there. I don't know. So I may pick this one up. I may not. That one is a question mark because I just don't know. I just don't know. So we'll question mark that one. The stand is the question mark of the week. All right. Now we have a couple of film collections. We have Mad Max 5 film collection all on 4K and then also the Transformers seven movie collection on 4k and also blu-ray so the mad max collection is 4k only but transformers you will have the choice of 4k or blu-ray i am good i am good with both of these because with the mad max films i have all five standalone 4k so there's no need for me to pick up the collection and as far as transformers I picked up that, that uh, six steelbook collection last year. 
I got in the uh, steel book for Rise of the Beast, so I am good. I have all of the Transformers films, so I do not need this collection set either. Look at all the money I'm saving this week. I only picked up Bad Boys and Long Legs that I want. That's it. So I am saving a ton of money. All right, so for the final time, because I've talked about these steel books, I feel like three or four times now, Body Double 4K Steelbook and also Stardust 4K Steelbook. Now for Stardust, there are two 4K Steelbook options. So on the right hand side, bottom right hand corner, I am putting the Walmart exclusive Steelbook for Stardust. So that way there's no confusion because the covers for both are kind of similar, but the Walmart version or the Walmart exclusive, I should say, kind of has, I guess, a little bit more purple. At least that's what it looks like to me. So that's what, that's how I'm going to show the difference. Okay. I know it's kind of difficult because they really do look very similar to each other, but the Walmart exclusive is on the right hand side. So with body double, I've officially made the decision. I'm not going to pick up body double because this is a really older movie and I don't know. I just, it's kind of like I've never seen it. So who cares? <laughs> you know, like I don't want to pay like $35, $40 for a steel book just to see a movie. Maybe one time. I don't know. Like I'm trying to be, you know, smarter with my money. You guys know this already. So I think that would be a bad financial decision for me to make. If I could stream it somewhere, I'm not sure if it's available on streaming anywhere. I'm going to look after this. I've said it numerous times. I still haven't looked it up, but I'll stream it if I'm interested. And if I ever do want to get it, I can always get it down the line on a sale maybe. But right now, no, I'm not picking it up. No, just no. And as far as Stardust, I was kind of thinking about this one because several of you did comment leaving me feedback about this movie, letting me know it's actually pretty decent. It's pretty good. You think I would enjoy it. So I'm going to think about it. I'm going to think about it. Maybe I'll pick it up down the line if there's a sale or something, but I, I don't think I need it right now. So with the steel books, I'm going to wait it out. Body double, no. Body double, I'm not getting. But Stardust, I'm thinking about. I'm thinking. Thinking. I'm always thinking. Thinking and contemplating. And of course, there are motorcycles outside. It's gorgeous out. That's why. All right. Now we have a couple of shows on physical media. We have Friends, the complete series, getting its 4K upgrade. And also Young Sheldon, the complete series on Blu-ray. Now, when it comes to shows, you guys know my rule, but if you're brand new here, when it comes to TV, I don't collect TV because that would be a lot of space taken up by TV. And I feel like streaming services, that's where streaming is ideal for someone like myself that doesn't want to collect TV shows on physical media. But occasionally I do get nostalgic and I would like to watch something. So I feel like streaming is better for me. That's my own personal choice when it comes to television. But if you guys absolutely love these shows, I mean, Friends is iconic at this point. It's timeless. It's, you know, it's just one of the, one of the funniest shows ever in the history of TV. Then of course you would want this. But my advice to you with Friends with this brand new 4K set wait for a sale because the price point last time I looked was over $200. That's very expensive. The holidays are around the corner and I can bet you that this sale in particular or this sale, this set in particular will go down in price over the next couple of months. Maybe it's going to have a massive Black Friday deal. I'm not really sure what's going to happen there. But I can guarantee you this set is going to go down in price over the next couple of months. So just try to wait it out. Wait it out. There's no slip cover they have to worry about or anything like that. So you really don't need to make such an impulsive purchase over $200. You know, if you can save a hundred bucks, that would be amazing. And then that would be worth it because that's 10 years, you know, it's 10 seasons of this iconic show. That would definitely be worth it. 10 seasons on 4K, 100 bucks. Okay, that's worth it. But for right now, I would definitely hold off. So that's my advice to you. Hold off. So friends, young Sheldon, I am bypassing on both, on both of them. 
All right, now we have three brand new 4K upgrades from Kino Lorber. And I was very fortunate because Kino Lorber hooked me up with every single one of these. And I've watched two out of the three so far. And I will talk about them in my next new release review. So they are Murder on the Orient Express, also The Lady Killers, and Link. So Murder on the Orient Express, that's the only movie I haven't watched yet. I'm probably going to watch it tonight. So I'm looking forward to checking this one out because it's an amazing all-star cast of people. And I'm just really looking forward to it. You know me and murder mysteries. I absolutely love them. So I'm probably going to watch it. I just convinced myself I'm going to watch it tonight. So I'm watching Murder on the Orient Express. Lady Killers is a fun English comedy. I had such a great time watching that movie. So I really do recommend that one. And Link is the cheesy Velveeta. I thought it was going to be the cheesy Velveeta and it is. So those, that's kind of like my brief little, you know, synopsis of those two movies in case you guys were interested in them. But I would recommend definitely the two that I've seen. I'm sure I would recommend Murder on the Orient Express as well, but I haven't watched it yet. So I probably will though. It's probably going to be good. All right. Now we're down to our criterions of the week and we have two of them. We have happiness getting a 4K and a Blu-ray. And also, bear with me, name and a long title here. So Greg Araki's, am I saying that right? Greg Araki's Teen Apocalypse Trilogy getting a 4K and a Blu-ray as well. So you know my rule when it comes to Criterion. I never pick them up full price. If you have to have these, if you collect Criterion, you're a serious collector, you need them. I get it. I completely understand. But for me personally, I don't need them right now. So July, November, I mean, obviously November would be the next sale, but who knows? I may not even buy in November. So July, next November, who knows? All right. Now we are talking about titles that will be available online only or possibly at Walmart on DVD format. And they are Touch, Here for Blood, and Before Dawn. Then we have A Prairie Home Companion, Below the Belt, and My Favorite Spy. Next up is Bathing Beauty, Red Mountain, and also Botany Bay. And finally, ending today's video with Journey into Fear, Conflict, and I Remember Mama. So those are all the major brand new releases that will be coming out on Tuesday. So comment down below and let me know what do you plan on targeting. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you next time.